good morning. My name is Dr. Kimmer Strassenberg, or you can call me Teacher Kim. So today we are going to learn about reversible and irreversible changes. Reversible changes are changes that we can change back. Irreversible changes we cannot change back. But first, let us review to understand better. So remember, everything around us is made of particles. And we can break particles even smaller into the smallest bit, which is called atom. Yes. And when we move the atoms around, we rearrange them. Everyone say, whoa, rearranged. Yes. If we rearrange the atoms, we move them around, we get a new substance. It is not the same. And this is when we have a chemical change. Everyone say, chemical changes. And how do we know if we have a chemical change? Well, there are indicators. Indicators of chemical changes. Yes, there are things that we can see that will tell us if there is a chemical change. Here are some of these indicators. For example, fizzing. Yes. Or a change in temperature. It gets very hot or very cold. That is a change in temperature. Another indicator of a chemical change is odor. Yes. Oh, odor, a very strong smell. Or a change in color. Yes. And then our last one that we talked about last week was precipitate. We mix together a solution, and there is a, a chemical reaction, and there is a solid that is left over. This is the precipitate. So all of these are indicators of chemical changes. And remember, chemical changes cannot be undone. Everyone say, undone. Chemical changes, they cannot be undone. They create a new substance. Another word to say that something cannot be undone is irreversible. Irreversible. This means that we cannot go back. Something cannot be undone. So, for example, in this picture, we have an egg. Hmm, yum. I am going to eat my yummy egg. First, I need to cook it. So, I'm going to break the egg. I will put it uh, into the bowl. There is my egg. And now I am going to cook it. I am going to boil it or fry it. This time I'm going to put the egg into the hot water and boil it. And voila, here is my hard boiled egg. Mm, now I can eat it. But I cannot make this egg go back. It cannot go back to what it was. I do not want it to go back. I want to eat the hard-boiled egg. Mm, yes. Another example of an irreversible change is my banana. I'm eating my banana. And then I set it down and I forget. And the next day I come. Ugh. It is a brown banana. Too late. I forgot. I cannot go back to the nice yellow banana. That is another example of an irreversible change. Mm. But some changes are reversible. Everyone say reversible. Reversible. Yes, just like my popsicle. My popsicle, it can change. If there is heat, the temperature goes up, it will melt, and then it will become a liquid. Oh no, I left my popsicle out now as a liquid, but I can freeze it again, bring the temperature down, and it is now a popsicle again. 
So if I leave my popsicle out, it will melt, melt. Yes, the ice cube can also melt. Uh, solids often can melt into a liquid. But I can go back by freezing. Everyone say freeze. Freeze. Yes, my popsicle is all melted. Oh no. But I can put it back into the freezer and voila, I have my delicious popsicle again. Mm. Also, I can change the state of matter by boiling. Everyone say boil. Boil. Yes, I put the water into my kettle and I heat it up. If you look very closely, there is steam coming out. It is very hot. That is the water evaporating. Everyone say evaporate. Evaporate. The water is turning into steam. It is evaporating. But believe it or not, even this can be undone. The water going into the air, if it becomes cooler again, it will condense. Condense. And already I can see on my egg, it is catching some of the water. If you look very closely, this is water that has been in the air and the egg is quite cold. It was in the refrigerator. When the steam hits the egg, the water condenses and turns back into a liquid. All of these reversible changes are physical changes because they can be undone and the substance is still the same. The water that is boiled and then that evaporates and then condenses still is H2O the whole time. It still is water. So these are examples of reversible changes. They are all physical changes. So let us review. First, we learned about chemical changes. Chemical changes are irreversible. Yes, these changes cannot go back. They are a different substance. But on the other hand, there are reversible reversible changes. We can go back. We can go back to the same substance. Sometimes a solid will melt, but we can go back to the solid form if we freeze. Yes, very good. Also, with a liquid, it can be, we can boil, and then after we boil the liquid, it will evaporate. When it evaporates, it turns into steam, into gas particles that are in the air. But if it is cooled down again, the gas will condense. After it condenses, it will form a liquid again, and then we are back to the liquid water. So that is it for today. Very good job. I will say, Avi Rusein, goodbye.